Welcome back, everyone. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. This is the tech, the technical mini, exclusively from Soda Beams. Uh, this is a compact, ultra portable six meter mass, which is about nineteen point six feet. This one in particular, I've had it for, I would say, maybe three years or more. One of the one of the great things about this is that um, it's really nice and heavy duty and it's really ultra portable um, and it's great for 20 meters um, you know 10 meters 17 meters um, even if you want to do UHF VHF um, let's say in the two meter band uh, this will be a great complement um, so in this video what I want to do is I want to show you how to take it apart because the last time I used it was during winter field day and it was raining crazy. Um, it was raining a lot and it was um, it was exciting to see that it held very nicely. Now I've had other soda beam um, masks. I had one that was like I think 36 uh, feet tall or something very whimsical and flimsy, but it was outside for several months and it did hold. But it, but um, for me, I think uh, this one in particular, this uh, uh, tactical mini seems to be the right size for me. But I want to, I want to show you how to, well, maybe, maybe like put it up a little bit. It's, I'm inside my house here so it's, it's a little bit harder to demonstrate how to put it up but I can give you an idea of how to do that and the, the majority of this video is like how to take it apart because I want to show you how to clean it and how to dry it after it rains but to open it you well somehow you pop this out there you go okay and it comes with different sections, as you can see here. See, you can barely see that. So what you usually do is you stand it up like so, right? And you usually have something to hold it or you can tie it, okay? But uh, in this case, let's say it was standing up, right? And then you take the the smallest element right you stand it up and you pop you pop the smallest element all the way out okay all the way out and what you're going to do is when you do that when you pop it out you know pop it out and then twist it just a little bit if you can and it's not a lot of force if you put a lot of force you might break this You'll see how much force you'll need. And then you can keep going, right? You can keep going. I know it's very hard to see. Right, here's the other section right here. Right, and then you, what you do is you, you can twist and, and push it out a little bit. Not much, because if you put too much strain, you're going to break this or tear the outer um casing and then it's not gonna work very good for you and here's the next one and this one you can see better right it's loose right here not a lot of force not a lot of force and then you you can twist it just a little bit like that see that and now it's stiff and it just keeps going and going my room is not that tall or wide I should say okay but here's the next section right here see that and then you twist it and it just keeps going going and, and again it's about 20 feet now when it's what you can do is you can hold it and twist it in right you can hold it twist twist the opposite way right here, twist, right, 
then you can hold this and you can twist this. See that? Sometimes it's very hard to do that, right? Let's say it was, this is very hard to see. Let's say this is straight, right? What you can do is you can, you can pound, as long as this, this piece is nice and firm, right, on the ground, what you can do is you can sometimes just knock it down and twist and then it goes it goes away it comes down you need to practice okay um the more you practice the better you'll get and you usually start from the smallest element right the smallest beam and then you work your way uh, usually you don't work from the second biggest tube why because then all your other tubes are going to go down see they're all down and there's no way you can reach that okay that's why you work with the small with the small one first and then you work your way up and of course when you do the last one as you can see here right here right you'll twist it and you'll feel that a firm connection. And again, if you pull it out too much, this might crack and, and it's just, you, you're gonna ruin it. Okay, we'll slide it back. Um, you can see some of the sections have been scraped or the paint has been coming out of it, but overall it's been great. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cap this, and now let's look at the other side, because this is the this is where I want to talk about in terms of cleaning it and putting it back together. This will slide, will unscrew, okay, and then there's a cork right here, and you can pop that cork by just shaking it a little bit, and there it is. See that? And then <clears throat> what you can do is you can slide from the from the second uh, tube and it'll just come out. There's no there's no friction anymore. See that? And then there's the next one. See that? And the next one. And the next one. As you can see, it has many tubes. And the next one. And the next one. And the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. You have 13 tubes. <clears throat> As you can see, we'll do this one right here. Okay. As you can see, this tube right here, um, it's it doesn't have the coating, right? It's much more smoother. All right, it's tapered. I mean, it's thinner here and a little bit wider here it's it's pretty solid it's a pretty solid tube um, on my previous on my other sort of beam mass the one that was like 30 I think it's 36 feet one of the one of these elements broke and they were kind enough to give me a new one for the, one, of, one of these thin ones with a purchase now, Soda Beams is not in the U.S., it's in the U.K., so it's going to cost more money to get these. I think recently, I think the price on this now is like uh, $53 or whatever. Um, that's excluding tax. Uh, I think there's a tax, a tax to it. And it takes a little while for them to ship it if you go 
some, some traditional routes. Of course, you can always uh, do it through um, another different carrier uh, provider. But you can see that the tubes are really, really nice. Now, when it rained, all this was wet. So was the cork. The inside was also wet as well. Um, so what I did was, um, I like to put them in order so I can remember how to put, you know, which one goes where. And then I, was, I just stood them up, you know, put them against the wall and left them there for a um, couple of days so it could dry inside and out. Um, and then, you know, just wipe it with a, a cloth um, just to make sure there isn't any, like, dust or tiny little pebbles to scratch the paint. Okay. So that's really, 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 really nice. And like I said, it does get scuffed, but it's, it's really nice. So how are we going to put this together? Well, we can grab, I think probably get the bigger tube and then cap it. And then take the second biggest tube and just put it in there. See that? And then next, take the next tube. And then the next tube. And they, it just goes smoothly in. Now if you make a mistake, let's say I'm going to put this tube in here you'll find out that this one won't fit, right? So you gotta have the proper order. Well, that makes sense. All right, it just slides in the next one. And you can leave it like this out a little bit if you like. You can see, you just slide it in there. And the next one, All right? And the next one. All right. Here's the next one. And this one. And the last one. Staying outside, right? Okay. All of them go in there. Put the cork. Very nice. Nice to have that. And then you screw this one on. Perfect. Very nice. Now let's try it. Let's see if I can open the. Yeah, I can open this better now. And then they all should come out like this. And the smallest tube, right? It's coming out. And then you can twist, pull it out and twist, and pull it out and twist. And then again, pull it on twist. Again, do not twist hard. Okay, don't twist very hard. You don't have to. If it's too heavy, it will, you know, it will tell you. Um, that's another thing, too. When you uh, use this mast, um, you don't want to put heavy things. Too many, like right here, you know, you put, if you put too much weight, um, it'll bend and it might break. Um, so heavy objects, uh, hanging heavy objects is not a good idea, but you'll get a sense of how, how much weight you can put on, on this and you cover it here, which is really, again, really, really nice, really, really compact. You can put it in your backpack, um, 20 meters. It's perfect for 20 meters. And I think you're really enjoy um, the tactical mini um, I'm gonna look at their website here there is another thing that you might want to buy and that's the drive-on car stand for mass and this one's about $55 now let me let me get it here it's right here a little bit heavy Okay. It was already marked 
And it wasn't, it wasn't, I was a little disappointed when I got this at first. Um, it was, a, it was dinged up and scratched. Um, they did give me a discount afterwards because I was telling them that this was unacceptable and they agreed. They gave me, they gave me a discount. It comes in two pieces. So let's unscrew this and show you another thing that you might feel um, that's a bit interesting. So here, it's, if you look inside, you'll see that it's a bit rusty. And it's a little bit, um, and it, I think it comes like this, uh, you know, it's, it's probably iron. I don't think it's something else. Um, I put a little bit of machine oil on this. Um, this I did use while it was raining. And it did work. Um, and just screw it on here. It's a little bit heavy and chunky. I'll tell you that. All right. And the camera is moving too, isn't it? All right. Let's keep going. And it's nice in there. Okay. Then you roll the tire over this and that's not going anywhere, right? And this one in particular has the diameter, the proper diameter, right? For the Tactical Mini and many of their other mass. And it just goes in there. See that? It goes in there very nicely. You might want to put something here to keep it from flopping over. I haven't figured out what exactly. I could put in there but overall it works fine now this one's for the car and yes it does weigh a lot because it needs to be metal and it needs to hold very very nicely now <clears throat> I guess I can measure it here that's about what 6 12 12 13 14 15, maybe 16 inches this way, almost 6 inches this way, and over here we got 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, yeah, maybe 6, almost 16, while after it's screwed on. So this might be something that you want when you are wanting to do something more like mobile like I did during uh, winter field day, which I am going to uh, have this type of setup for uh, field day in the summer. I feel like that's going to be beneficial because I did get a lot of contacts um, that I felt like I got more count contacts having a, uh, a quarter wave ground plane antenna using a mast and the tactical uh, mini uh, from Soda Beams is perfect. So if uh, you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Um, if you want to support the channel, uh, there's a, I believe it's called the Super, the, the, the Tanks, the Super Tanks. Um, I appreciate everybody that supported this channel. And um, I hope uh, we get to talk to each other. This is Frank, Whiskey Charlie, Zero Oscar. Bye-bye.